So save the planet, Captain Planet. Um, showing my age. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. So glad to have you here. So today, my video is my BoxyCharm versus Ipsy video. And as you can see, my face is bare. So when I started this Boxy versus Ipsy videos, I put on like the products and the videos were really long. And then I kind of was like, okay, let's, let's cut these videos down. And so I just already had my makeup on before the videos. And you know what? I thought that it was, yes, the videos were shorter, but they weren't as fun. <laughs> so, you know, I have a new chant. This channel is still very new. And so I'm just kind of figuring things out. So I am going to put on the makeup in the boxes today. It might be a longer video. So if you like that, stick around. Um, if you don't, put it on 1.5 speed and let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start it with my BoxyCharm. It is BoxyCharm Premium. Let's see what I got. BoxyCharm, what did I get? So BoxyCharm Premium has a nice card in here and the theme is go all out. And it has like vacation kind of pictures. So it's really nice because it has in here all of the items that you get and the like MSRP value for them. So I paid $35 for the BoxyCharm Premium Box and at the end I will add up the prices of everything. The Premium Box has six items instead of the base box that has five items. Also here is a um, announcement. Here's an announcement for both of these boxes, for the BoxyCharm and the Ipsy Box. I have a code. For you guys, if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm or you want to sign up for Ipsy, I have a code that you can sign up with my code and you can get a discount on your first box. So that would really help me out. If you wanted to do that, I'd appreciate it. If you don't, no pressure. So anyways, it's in my description below. Yay. All right. So here we go. Let's start with the first thing on the card. Um, also, for the premium box, I get to pick two of the products. For the base box, the BoxyCharm, you only get to pick one. So, you know, the more money you spend, the more little incentives they give you, right? So, um, unless picking is not an incentive, incentive for you, you like all surprises. Whatever. Um, so, the first thing, I picked this. Um, it is the Fenty. It's Fenty. Ooh. Like, bougie, right? Um, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, if, if you didn't know. I mean... She just came out, it just came out that Fenty's like, or Rihanna is like, I think a billionaire. I'm probably getting that wrong. <laughs> but anyways, her, this brand just, it, yeah, she's amazing. So it is What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray, a super fine hydrating mist that can be used under makeup for foundation prep or over makeup to instantly revitalize and refresh skin throughout the day. So they give you a choice between like four products and you get to choose one. And so I chose the refreshing spray. Um, the next item that I chose is from Vesca Beauty. This is um, a brand that I have never gotten, but Khaki Beauty talks about it a lot. And I actually went onto their website and I was like, hey, maybe I'll try this brand out. It was pricey. <laughs> this, um, let me tell you, this is a cream eyeshadow and it is in the shade. The shade is Vela. It's, but I think it's, anyways, that's the shade. It's that kind of um, burgundy color. Um, but each of these retail for $28. So $28 for one eyeshadow is a little bit pricey. So I was like, maybe I'll save that to when I get a raise <laughs> or I get a bonus or I'm actually making money on YouTube. So that was like, I'll put that off for the future. And then this came on my BoxyCharm and I was like, yes, yes, thank you. I will, I will get that. Um, and Khaki Beauty talks about those eyeshadows that they are amazing. So I was really excited to get that one. Um, and it says it's time to sparkle. So this is what the description says for that moonlit dream cream shadow. It's time to sparkle into the night with Moonlit Dream Cream Shadow, an ultra creamy gel shadow that delivers a budge proof lustrous sheen for the lids. So I guess you can use it as a 
a liner is kind of what it said at the end or you can use it as like a single shadow just or you can mix it with other shadows it can be used in many different ways which is kind of cool okay so those were the two that i chose let's keep going so then i got this oc oh i'm gonna say oc um malibu sea minerals mist and i was actually can you guys see that it kind of leaked <laughs> it didn't leak that much um and it didn't leak on any of the products it just leaked in the box and it, so it's just a little bit um, less in the bottle. I didn't even, I'm sure I could have done a report to BoxyCharm and been like, hey, this leaked. But it's barely, you know, no, nothing is ever really full when you get it. And so I'm sure it only leaked a couple millimeters. So I was like, meh, it's fine. I got over it and moved on. But let's see, what does it say? So I actually got two mists. I got the Fenty Mist and the OC Mist in this box, which I thought was interesting. You know, it's summertime at the end of summer. Um, and so, you know, mists are kind of popular in the summer, but let's see what this one does. So the Fenty one is a refreshing mist and it can be used as a foundation. So it can be used as a base or a, or a setting mist. Let's see what this one does. Um, balance and soothe skin with this supercharged toning mist. So it's a toner. So good, they're two different they're they're two different kinds. One is this priming or a setting mist, and this is a toning mist. So that's good. I'm gl I'm glad. I wouldn't want two setting mists in one box. Not that I don't, you know, I have a ton of setting mists, so I don't need I don't need two in one box. That's all I'm saying. So the OC's proprietary blend of nutrient rich nutrient rich seaweed Ooh. visibly evens your skin tone while minerals work their magic, cooling and refreshing. The aloe vera infused mist helps nourish sun drenched skin. Micro cloud mist is the ideal delivery system for plumping hydration. So interesting. And it's my favorite color, <laughs> green. Okay, so cool, I like that. The next thing I got is from Grown Alchemist, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, let's see, let's pull it out of the box for you. Right here, it is an age repair gel mask. This anti-aging facial mask revitalizes dull skin while delivering a cooling sensation. Hyaluronic acid and glycerin hydrate, hydrate so skin looks plumper, healthier, and smoother. So um, this kind of, ooh, I had it upside down. Huh. This is something that I use while I'm in the bath and I put it on while I'm in the bathtub and just kind of relax. I am getting older and a age repair gel mask is, is good. Okay, next what I got is Earth Harbor Naturals. So I, I got one of, I got Earth an Earth Harbor Naturals um, skin, like it was an ampoule, which I have no idea what that word means. Um, I got it in a FabFitFun box. And this one, I'm glad it is not an ampoule because I don't need another whatever that is. It is an antioxidant cleansing oil. And that's fantastic. I love cleansing oils. I think they work really well to take off um, like mascara. I feel like you just, so just, I do a double cleanse. I'll, I'll have like a balm to take off my makeup and then I have a, an actual like cleanser to take it off. But I feel like like a balmy oil just melts makeup right off. So I was really excited to get this. I feel like oil, oil takes off makeup. It just, it just melts it right off. A sweet, ooh, sweet tropical sunshine with silk. Ooh, let's see, does it smell? Kind of, yeah, I guess it kind of smells tropical. I, it's not as strong as I would think considering that's the first description in here. Sweet tropical sunshine with silky dew drops sails smoothly across your face, removing impurities, pollution, and makeup. Antioxidant rich oils infused with sea kelp and papaya enzymes arouse your senses while a cleansing and softening complexion. Okay, so that's that. Last but not least, I got this La Russe. These La Russe, um face discs wipe away your day with this alternative eco-friendly solution to disposable makeup wipes and cotton pads. Okay, so I really like these. I like to use these um, with the cleansing oil and then just put them 
you know, put some of this cleansing oil on and it just melts makeup away. And then I put them, um, I use them cause they're, they're double sided. So I use them several times, like in different spots and then throw them in the washing machine. And then, you know, you don't have to use disposable makeup wipes, wipes and cotton pads. So save the planet, Captain Planet. Um, showing my age because I watched Captain Planet and that was one of my favorite shows. But I really care about the environment and I want to help save it one little thing at a time. So anyways, this this box was very skincare heavy, um, which which is okay. It's okay. I love skincare um, because I really care about my face, but I do also really love makeup. Um, I like it when there's a um, uh, actually usually more makeup than skincare when it's so this is I have six items if it could have been three and three three makeup three skincare I would have preferred that I would have preferred four makeup two skincare um in this case I got one technically one makeup item which was the eyeshadow and the rest is skincare let's see what I got actually I know I know everything that I got in my Glam Bag X because I picked it all out. Look, in the Glam Bag X, they let you pick and then they show you everything that you got. In the BoxyCharm Premium, it's very surprised. They let you pick the two things and then it's a surprise when you get it. So that's kind of fun. Let's add up the total and, and tell you the, um, the total price of what it was that I got so that I can tell you how much I paid. Well, I paid 35 and how much it is. The premium box is worth $223 and I paid 35. So I really obviously like that. I like to pay much less than what I get. And that is why I keep getting these boxes because I like the, this, this grown alchemist was $79. You know, I don't want to pay $79. <laughs> um, that's more than double what the box is, you know, how much I paid for the box. So that is why I keep getting these boxes and I like it. So if you like this box, remember I have it's a code that you can use if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm. And it's not always this skincare heavy. It was just this month. Ipsy! My Glam Bag X. I have some Ipsy news. So if you guys are have an Ipsy box, you'll know that make, because you got an email this month that they're changing their prices again which frankly frustrates me and makes me a little grumpy. Um, some bad words happened in my head when, when I found out. I was like, really? Because when I signed up for Ipsy originally, it was $10. Then they raised it up to $11. Now it is $12. And that was the, the re just the glam bag, the small little sample size bag with five sample sizes. And now they are raising it to $13. And with no explanation, like they're saying to make it better. But really like, when it went from $10 to $11, I didn't see it to be any better. $11 to $12. I didn't see it any better. I actually was like, this kind of stinks. And I went to the Glam Bag Plus because I was getting annoyed with all the kind of crappy samples. Um, so also, not only that, the Glam Bag Plus is tw is right now is twenty five dollars, and this this I believe you you sign up right now, it will already be thirteen dollars for the Glam Bag, and for the Glam Bag Plus, it will now be twenty eight dollars. If you are already a member, the change happens in October. So three dollars a three dollar price rate change. Ugh. I mean, if you think about it. I spend, like I'll go get a soda at the soda shack place uh, down the street and it's more than $3. Um, so, you know, I spend $3 easily. But it, $3 is my hard earned money and it bothers me because I they're not specifically saying that you're gonna get like better brands or one more product or, it really makes me want to quit Ipsy. Let me know what you guys think. So, um, but one thing, the Glam Bag X is not going up. So the Glam Bag X quarterly is $55 and that is not raising. The last Glam Bag I got was the regular Glam Bag and my plan was to go up to the Glam Bag Plus. So I think I'll, I think I'll still do it 
and pay the $28 grumpily. Um, because the only reason I'm doing it is because I want the X. I really like the X. I just, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. So I'm letting you guys know that I'm annoyed. Anywho, um, because you know, I, I'm not on here just to tell you guys, I like this. I like this. I like this. I, I want to tell you guys the truth. That's why I'm here to tell you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Um, so anyways, although with the glam bag, the reason I'm, I keep eat, keep doing it, even though I hate that they keep raising the prices is for the glam bag X. The glam bag X is amazing. I have been nothing but happy with it. And this month it exceeded my expectations. With the Khloe Kardashian one, I really, really wanted the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and I didn't get it, but I still got stuff that I wanted. I still got the Olaplex um, hair product that I wanted and I got to choose some cool stuff and I liked it. This time I really wanted the Aether Beauty palette, the eyeshadow palette. And guess what? I got it. I got it. And I was so excited. I like jumped for joy and I told my husband, he was like, what's that? <laughs> I was so excited and I'm going to put it on today for you guys. I've been kind of doing some research on um, like really pretty makeup looks that I can do with those colors. And so we're going to get really creative with those colors and I'm excited. I love this box. It is the, one of the best boxes I've ever gotten. Um, so the Glam Bag X is nothing but amazing, but the, the smaller ones, the monthly ones, I am kind of grumpy about. So let's get into this. I'm going to stop, stop complaining and let's show you what I got. There are eight products that you get and they let, they choose five of them. They say that the curator, the curator this month was Halsey and they say that Halsey chooses five of them and then you get to choose the other three. And based on, you take a quiz, uh, you know, based on your skin type and shade, what you like, do you like more makeup, do you like skincare, and they kind of curate it towards that, or they try to. And I, I think that's why I didn't get the magic cream, because I said I liked more makeup than skincare. If I would have said I liked more skincare than makeup, I would have gotten the magic cream. So it was kind of my fault. Anyways, you get a a little magazine in here, and this is like FabFitFun, and it is very similar to FabFitFun because it is quarterly, and the FabFitFun quarterly is $50, and this is 55 quarterly. So they're very similar and they're both really awesome. And I like both of them and I'm very, very blessed and lucky to be able to get both of them. And they both tell you, you know, descriptions and everything of what you get in there. So it's really amazing. I really enjoy both of them and I work really hard to be able to pay for these. Let me show you what Halsey picked for me. So what the thing she picked for me, these glow recipe, um, and I was really excited to get this. I really like glow recipe. It's a really awesome skincare brand. Um, these it's the watermelon glow hyaluronic clay pore type facial. Um, I've heard this is really new. This is a brand new product and I'm so excited to get it. So it comes in this cute little pink jar. Oh, it's not as, oh wait. It probably is very watermelon smelling. It has a, a cap on it. Oh yes. It's very watermelon smelling and it has a little scooper. It's clear. It looks like a little uh, guitar pick. And I think mine broke because it fell on the ground. So now it's actually kind of sharp. Careful for that, that it, it, it surprises you as it comes out of the box. Next thing Halsey chose for me. Let's talk about it. The Aether Beauty Palette. This is another brand I found out from Khaki Reviews Beauty. She um, is really good friends with the owner of this brand. Why do I drop everything on the ground? Um, and this brand, she, the owner of this brand, she worked for Sephora for a really long time. And then she, you know, decided to make her own company and she is really amazing about the environment and none of her palettes have magnets or mirrors and they're all like a hundred percent totally recyclable. So they, it has this little, um, 
I don't know how it, it just locks into place like this and there's no magnet or mirror so that you can recycle it. So you just get to use all of these. Um, once you're done using it, you take out the little pans and you recycle them. It's, it's beautiful. It used to have a little, um, elastic band that would go on these, but I guess you changed that design a little bit. And the elastic band was like, you can use that as a hair tie or a headband. Um, anyways, but now it, it has a different design. Anyways, look how beautiful this is. This is the, the moonlight crystal palette. Oh my gosh. We're going to do something really pretty with this. Ugh. So these colors, I don't even know. I don't know even if they're good. Like they're probably better for a deeper skin tone, but I don't care. These are my favorite colors. I love these gemstone colors. And so jewel toned, I love these jewel tone colors and I'm, they're my favorite colors and I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. I don't care. So she also picked or, you know, Ipsy, she didn't pick it for me. Uh, <laughs> this Dr. Brandt, um, do not age DNA. It's a cute little play on that acronym. Um, triple peptide eye cream. So I have a lot of eye creams, but can you ever have too many eye creams? Probably. Oh, in every single Ipsy, um, box, there were two things that everybody got because Halsey is just a huge, huge fan of them. And it's this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, um, mascara. And I'm not going to open this because I have a ton of mascaras open. And once you open it and have oxygen hit it, it starts that timer of like, you have six months to use this and it starts like, you know, getting drier and such. And so I'm not going to open this because I need to use the ones that are already opened. What else did Halsey pick for me? Um, about face. This is Halsey's brand. So she was very smart to put her own brand in her box. I mean, it would have been kind of not smart if she didn't do it. Um, the about face highlight fluid. I am the one. Ooh, so pretty. It's like a little disco ball. Woo. I actually really don't love liquid highlighters, um, but I love highlighters in general. So I will be giving this one a try. Oh, that is really pretty. Let's see. So we'll put that on today. Ooh, it is a little bit like champagne colored. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, the reason I don't love liquid highlighters is because I feel like they just kind of blend away, but that one doesn't look like it will. That one looks crazy pigmented. Okay. I was able to pick three things. Now you had a couple of options to choose from. One of the things I picked is this bread. This is a brand that I've kind of heard about, but, and I've never have anything from it. It is a hair care brand. It is the macadamia oil, 100% concentrate for your hair and body interesting so it's an oil oil is good for your hair it's good that's why you're not supposed to wash your hair every day because the natural oils from your scalp are good for your hair for hair apply it on its own as a targeted so it's a leave-in treatment oil so you can use it on your hair and your body and i just thought that was so interesting so i got this let's see how big is it Wow, that's pretty big. Looks like it leaked a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Uh, anyways, that's pretty big. So I think that's really cool and I'm really excited to use that. Um, they also had a choice of a Briogeo one and I was on the fence because I like, I really like Briogeo, not as much as I like Olaplex, but they didn't have, Olaplex wasn't one of the options. It was bread or Briogeo for the hair care and I've never tried bread. so. I wanted to try it. Okay, then another one of my options that I got to choose, I chose this. It is from Charlotte Tilbury. Love Charlotte Tilbury. If I get an option for Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna choose it. It wasn't even one of the most expensive options. They had other options that were more expensive and I was like, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and it only wasn't mo the, one of the more expensive items because it's a, a lip pencil. So. It is an, ex I mean, it's a pricey lip for what it is, a lip pencil, but there were other items that were more expensive. Um, this is the Pillow Talk Medium Lip Pencil. 
So it's Charlotte Tilbury, a full size lip pencil. Yeah, we're gonna put that on today. So great. And the last but not least thing that I got to choose was these Glamnetic um, Times X Ipsy nails. And you can see a little bit that they have like a lavender tip. So I thought they were really fun. I do my own nails and I just recently um, filed them to make them a little bit almond shaped. Here, these have the coffin shape is what it's called, which I thought was fun for Halloween. So I'm really excited about that. Um, okay, then I did get some add-ons. I usually don't get add-ons from Ipsy because I don't really like them. Yeah, I really like the add-ons from the uh, BoxyCharm and FabFitFun, but you know what, this time they had some really great add-ons. So one thing that was in this Glam Bag X that I didn't get, that like wasn't chosen for me and wasn't one of my options was the Tatcha, the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I really wanted that. I don't have anything by Tatcha and Tatcha is this luxury skincare brand. And so it was in my add-ons, like it was an option to pick up as an add-on. So I did. <laughs> and it was $18, which is kind of pricey for an add-on. Usually a lot of the add-ons for Ipsy are like $3 or uh, like $12. They have different levels, like $3, $12, $18, $24. Um, so this was kind of pricey, but if you think about how much, um, the Tatcha is actually, it's probably in here. Yes, here we go. The Tatcha sale can canvas is normally $52. So I got it for 18. So that is a deal. Ooh, it comes in this little like bag that is, um, sealed. Ooh. So it won't, Wow, that is fancy, fancy. Ooh, that is fancy. Mm. And, oh my gosh, look at this little disc. It's like a little discus. And this is to get it out. So we're gonna put that on today as my, my primer. Okay, so we're gonna be really fancy today and I'm gonna put it on all my makeup. I'm already at 35 minutes right now and I haven't even started my makeup. It's gonna be a long video. Then I picked up a couple more, um, just add-ons. These were the $3 add-ons. Beauty for Real, it is an eyeliner. It was only $3 and it's an olive color. Actually, the it's called olive. And I don't have an olive eyeliner. So I thought that was fun, especially for fall coming up. So I got that. Then, precisely, my brow by Benefit. I This is this is my favorite brand for eyebrows. And actually, um, Coast says it's come out with eyebrow products in there. I've, I've fallen in love with theirs as well. Um, I haven't tried a whole bunch of other ones. I just actually got a Patrick Ta wax that I haven't tried yet. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of other brands, but this is a staple. Benefit Benefit knows how to do brows. So I got this. This is $3, and it's in the shade 3, which is my, my shade. Um, and the last but not least, another. Do I need more eye, product, eye, eye creams? No. But it is from Glow Recipe, and it's this tiny little mini container. But... You know, how much space do I have under my eyes? Not very much. Um, anyways, it is the Glow, the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. So I can put this on before I go to bed and just moisturize my eyes. That is all that I got. So if all you wanted to see was what I got in these boxes, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I love you all. Have a great day. But if you wanted to watch me put on some makeup, here it is. Here we go. Okay, so let's start with this Tatcha, Tatcha Silk Canvas. So pretty. Okay, let's use this little disc. We're just gonna, isn't this, this is like gonna be so satisfying. I don't know how much I need. I don't know. How do I make sure I don't lose this discus? I don't know. I also don't know if I use too much. Oh, I think I totally did. We'll just put it on my neck. <laughs> hmm, it's an interesting smell. Not bad, like it's familiar. That's why I say interesting. It reminds me of Japan growing up. That was a weird thing to say because none of you know what I'm talking about, but you're welcome.
What is that? It's kind of citrusy. It's nice. I really like it. Okay, that is nice. All right, so the canvas is on. Okay, I'm going to put on, I didn't get um, a foundation or anything, so I'm gonna put on foundation and some th the things that I didn't get, and then we'll be back to put on the things that I did get. All right, are you ready for it? I know I am. Aether. We're gonna do kind of a cosmic mermaid look. I mean, that's the only thing I could think to do because look at these colors. Look at them. So I have foundation, I have bronzer blush, I did concealer and I did a eye primer on. I'll have those products lifted, listed below. So I have an idea of what I wanna do, but I haven't practiced. So we're just gonna, I hope it works out. I hope it works out, right? That's just kind of the, the, the hope here. Okay, so there's the swatches. It's not in a really, like, I kind of put them in order of, like, <laughs> where uh, I thought they made sense. Like, the grays next to the grays and the purples next to the purples. But anyways, um, they're mostly two, like, I swatch it twice on top of each other. Some of them swatched better than others. But, I mean, some of those colors are very unique to my collection. And I... At the beginning of this journey, this YouTube channel journey, I didn't have, like I had more makeup than the average makeup connoisseur, but I'm getting, I'm getting more. Um, and I, these are some unique colors to my collection. So we are going to start with this color and they, the back of this has the colors. This actual palette doesn't have them. And this is called Moonchild. And we're gonna kind of put that, they are a little bit powdery, with a little bit of fallout. We're gonna put that in my crease as my transition shade. That is pigmented. The, I feel like the one thing that this palette is missing is a pink shade. Cause it's moon child. So it's kind of trying to be, you know, like a galaxy and Galaxies are pink. I would have liked to see some pink. I mean, I'm wearing a pink shirt. I would have liked a little pink. So, you could leave it at that. But I'm not going to. I'm going to go for it. Woo! I'm a little nervous. Okay. We're going to go like like a mermaid tail or a galaxy here and go like green to blue to purple. I'm so excited and terrified. So let's play this game. I'm so scared. I don't, it's so hard to do makeup in this little screen. FYI, it's looking good. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just putting on makeup. And if you don't like it, there's always makeup remover. That's what I like about oil paint. There's turpentine. I just put turpentine on a Q-tip and I remove it and start over. So you can put a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip, remove it. Done. Okay. So there we have some green. Let's do... Oh, I didn't tell you what the color, that is Libra. And we're going to do, oh, Bianca. We're going to do this color right here, which is Ritual. This is gonna be so fun. That one is pigmented. I'm just packing it on. So I'm going to take that purple, the original brush, and just kind of go like that because I feel like that blending right here is, is going to be our cincher. I'm taking my green brush originally and just blending those two together. I wish my green were a little bit more pigmented at this point because my blue is very
the end, for this outer corner, we're going to use this very dark Psyche. Or Psyche. But I'm going to go with Psyche. Because I pretend I know what I'm talking about. I'm using all different brushes. Just ones that I have that are like a flat kind of. This is a, an Alomar Cosmetics brush. But if you only have one brush, you can just clean them. Or wipe them off. I don't know how this is turning out, but it's we're just going for it, okay? I feel like it's going to look better when I have eyeliner and mascara on. Because I look at other people's tutorials and they always look better when there's eyeliner and mascara. And then they do lashes, which I don't do. <laughs> It's actually kind of pretty. Blending. Is this an everyday look? No. Could you get an everyday look from this palette? Yes. I think you can if you go over here. Um, but I didn't want to do a, an everyday look with this palette. I wanted to do something fun. All right, I'm going to take like an inner corner highlight brush. I'm going to take this color right here. It is called moon dust I'm going to take it under also because I think that will kind of make it I love it when it goes under All right, then we're going to take kind of all of my colors a little bit under. You know what, we'll just do the purple. Because I'm lazy. My concealer brush still has some concealer on it and I'm just gonna kind of go like this and, cons and fix my line there. Beautiful. I have this beautiful Maybelline Superstay. What is it? Maybelline New York Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is an amazing eyeliner. I'm not going to put it on on screen because I'm terrible at that. I'm going to put on eyeliner and mascara. My mascara is going to be my Thrive and we'll see the final look. Okay. I have mascara and eyebrows and eyeliner on. What do you think? Final product. I love it. I love it. I think it is, I turned, think it turned out really well. I didn't, I had an idea in my head and I didn't know where that idea would go, but stunning. I think it is very cosmic with also kind of mermaid vibes, but mermaid vibes. I love it. And my kids have a pool party for their school tonight and I'm totally going to it with this eyeshadow look and I don't care. I don't care. All right, we're going to do the About Face Halsey's brand highlighter. We're just going to look like an alien princess, mermaid alien princess today and I am all for it. I'm all for it. I'm going to put some on my hand. I feel like that's how you put on liquid highlighter. And then just kind of blend it. Uh, from here, you can do it with a brush, but I, you know, I already put it on with my finger, so I just kind of keep going with my finger. Um, I like to do the high points of my cheeks. I also like to do my, my brow bone. I love a brow bone highlight. Um, sometimes I like to do my nose. Why not? My crooked nose. <laughs> That's usually all I hit. Um, if I'm wearing, I guess well, if I when I put my swimsuit on, I could do my um, collarbones. Wherever you want to hit. 
Wow. I still have tons on my hand. So if you want to layer and just really, you know what? I'm really feeling it. I'm going to glow. I'm going to be a moon child today. Moon child, Bianca. You know, when I go all out, I go all out. There are days, you know, when I wear no makeup. There's days where I wear really natural makeup. And there are days when I am a moon child. And today is one of those days. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk 2. And this is a really good lipstick for this look. Because it's more of a nude shade. You know, if I were going... Part of me says I should put on purple lipstick. But this is what I got in the box. So this is what I'm wearing. And it makes it a little bit more go to the pool party. Oh my gosh, it's just so fun. I'm having a really fun time, if you can't tell. And I'm just going to line my whole lips and kind of wear this as, you know, lipstick today. Because I didn't get a lipstick. It is a little bit harder to use a lip liner as a lipstick because it's a small, tiny little applicator, but you can do it. You can make it work. All right. What do you guys think? This is the look today and I am obsessed. I love it. I love color. These are my favorite colors. Um, teal, green, purple. So I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love it. Okay. I know this was a really long video and if you stuck it, through the end. Thank you so much. You guys rock. Um, so if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell if you want to see more of my videos. And remember, most importantly, to be nice to yourself because you are awesome. Okay. And if you want to get any of these boxes, remember I have codes below. So that will give you guys a discount and really help me out and have a fantastic day. Okay. Bye.